This is Jon Kobo from EMD. I would like to demonstrate how to use the new PV module in WinPro 3.3. As you can see, there's a new icon up here, and I can click it and insert the object on the map. Then it goes straight into edit mode, and I can start digitizing the areas where the solar panel should be placed. right click and stop. You can see straight away the area is filled with the PV panels and you can see them down here and up here in this window you can see we have a list of areas so far there's only one and this is all the details about this area. I can change uh, the settings up here and then it will be reflected down here on the map. For instance, if I change the orientation of the arrays, you can see the update designs button becomes green. And if I click it, it changes down here. Also, I can change the row spacing. And you can see it down there straight away. Let's change it back. You can see here, I can choose between different kinds of panels with different settings. If I go in here, I can see the details about this panel. We have these different settings here. These can be changed. And then the model, which is defined by this DAE file, is scaled according to these settings up here. Here you can set the, the maximum power of this uh, panel and that would be used to update these settings down here. Information about this particular area that I've been drawing on the map. I can press preview And then it shows how this particular panel looks like. Say, uh, tell it to show the substructure, if there is some kind of substructure for this panel. You can see the preview button becomes green. And then I can see how that looks like. The substructure is also defined by a DAE file. And it can be scaled manually by changing these settings. The PV panels can be arranged in uh, tables. If I try to change these numbers, you can see both the update designs here, which is updating how it looks like here on the map, and the preview button becomes green. Now you can see the table that consists of four PV panels. But the substructure is not automatically scaled to fit the panel, the tables. Um, <clears throat> so I have to manually change the settings down here to make it look correct. Like this rotate the model to see it looks okay from different angles. Another approach, uh, instead of scaling the model that is uh, given here, I could create a new model instead, of course. And uh, it is uh, we can recommend to do that in, in SketchUp and then from SketchUp export the panel as uh, uh, the substructure as a DAE file. Now, in this case, we don't want PV panels here in, uh, on the road. So we will add a new area that is an exclusion area. I right click on the map. And then I will name it exclusion.
give it another color and check exclusion area. So then I'll digitize this area where I don't want any panels. And then the panels are removed. If I zoom in, you can see here the panels lower left corner is all inside the given area, but the upper corners might be outside a little bit. So if that's a problem, you can adjust the exclusion area or the area defining this uh, collections. Good. I'll just add another area up here. And I'll just uh, leave it as, as it is. And say stop. I'll leave edit mode. And what we can do with the PV module in WinPro 3.3 is that we can visualize it in photomontage. You can always also get these numbers, but that is very a very simple calculation. The full energy calculation is going to be included in WinPro 3.4. Now I will show how it is used together with photomontage. I have already calibrated a few cameras here. As you can see, the panel rows are shown as lines here, so we can have an idea whether it looks correct or not. I'll just press render. Like this. If I zoom in, you can see all the individual panels down here. These ones over here is arranged in tables with four panels in each. And this one, uh, this area over here is, is not. Maybe if we want to make sure that we have the same settings, we can go and right click here on area one and apply the settings from this area to all the other areas. So now I can see that on area three, it has the same settings and I can go back and render again. like this. Now they're looking the same. Of course you can see there might be a lot of details you might want to change here. This should be an exclusion area around here. This panel might be a little too close to the road and so on. But anyways, this is how it works. One last thing is that we can also show the shadows from the VCGs on the panels. So if I have a VCG, I will place the VCG right here. I can go and turn on that the shadows should be shown. And if I just make it a little bigger, you can see that it looks like this. I will not change the, the, the time and you can see how the shadow moves. And so far, this is only a, a visual thing, so you have an idea how it's going to influence the panels that you have a VCG here. But in WinPro 3.4, that is going to be included in the uh, calculation of the energy um, production of these areas. Good. I think that was about it. So thank you for listening.